Terry Shaw grew up on a farm near Burlington in northwest Oklahoma with his parents, Harold and Edith, and his sisters, Dixie and Gwen. After high school, it was off to Oklahoma State University where he majored in biochemistry. He and Karen Taggart met during their freshman year and were married during their senior year. After graduating from OSU in 1968, they moved to California where Terry began a doctoral program in molecular biology at UC San Diego. He was accepted into a lab at the Salk Institute where his advisors and others were Nobel Prize winners. He and Karen were also youth leaders in their church. From this experience, both Terry and Karen felt called to make teaching their ministry. So two and a half years into his doctoral program, Terry made the difficult decision to leave UC San Diego with a master's degree and enroll at Arizona State University, where he and Karen completed work for teacher certification. His first job was teaching eighth grade science in Litchfield Park, Arizona. To better build relationships with students, the 8th grade teachers took groups on Saturday field trips to pan for gold, explore ghost towns, abandoned mines, and Indian ruins. Terry soon developed an appreciation for the freshness, idealism, enthusiasm, and energy level of middle school kids. Toward the end of their second year in Arizona, Karen was killed in an auto accident. Terry decided to return to Stillwater to work on a doctorate in education at OSU. He especially credits Ted Mills for helping him develop the knowledge and skill to construct cohesive theory-based, developmentally appropriate, and inquiry-centered learning sequences. While at OSU, he met Thelia Sewell, a counselor at Stillwater Middle School. They were married in 1975. Terry and Thelia's son, Taryn, and daughter, Tana, were both born while they lived in Stillwater. After completing his coursework, Terry took a job at Stillwater Middle School, teaching sixth grade science with Joe Payne. Terry and Joe had a lot of freedom to develop the sixth grade science curriculum around relevant, engaging topics, such as the human body systems, environmental concepts, and force and motion activities using model rockets. His objective was to have students come in every day enthusiastically asking, what do we get to do today? He used science as a tool to help students build confidence in themselves and to be excited about this incredible world in which they live. Terry and Joe thought it would be fun to take sixth grade on an outdoor adventure in an effort to help students develop an appreciation for the natural environment. The program began in 1976 and has been so successful that it continues today. In 1978, Dr. Shaw accepted a position as visiting professor at OSU. The next year, he joined the faculty at Kansas State University in science and environmental education. After four years of receiving NSF grants, publishing papers, earning tenure, he came home one day and said to Thelia, I'm not having nearly as much fun as I did teaching middle school. I wonder if there's a school system that will take me back. Fortunately, for Norman Public Schools, they took him back. The Norman Middle School teachers were preparing to develop a research-based science curriculum, and Terry was excited to be a part of that process. Terry and Joe Green were a wonderful team at Irving Middle School. They started a science club where students built telescopes and went on a field trip each month to interesting science-related sites. They acquired grants to raise $54,000 that was needed to create a multimedia development computer lab. They took on additional projects, including one that involved the least tern, an endangered bird that nests on the Canadian River. The students worked during the summer to protect the nesting area, 
collect data on the birds to update the recovery plan, and videotape the birds and other wildlife. The Full Option Science System, commonly known as FOSS, curriculum is the most widely adopted hands-on science curriculum in the country. In 1997, the FOSS project directors asked Terry to come to the Lawrence Hall of Science at UC Berkeley to be a part of the middle school FOSS curriculum development team. Terry helped develop the FOSS Earth History course and others before returning to Irving Middle School in 1999. Since retiring from the classroom in 2001, Terry has coordinated professional development for the FOSS Middle School program and helped revise other FOSS courses. In 2003, Thelia was diagnosed with leukemia and died in 2005. To honor Thelia, Terry, Taryn, and Tana raised over $35,000 for leukemia research by participating in the team and training program, twice completing a 100-mile ride around Lake Tahoe. When T. Boone Pickens announced the matching funding for scholarships, Terry funded an endowed scholarship in counseling to honor Thelia. He also established a scholarship in human sciences to honor Karen. Through the effort of several insistent friends, Terry was introduced to Sky Dyers. It was a great match, and they were married in 2006. Together, they have five children. Terry has been an active leader in the National Science Teachers Association and the Oklahoma Science Teachers Association, presenting over 100 sessions at professional meetings. He has received numerous awards for his teaching, including the Presidential Award for Excellence in Science Teaching, the National Environmental Education Teacher of the Year, and the Outstanding Middle School Science Teacher of the Year for Oklahoma. He has provided teacher in-service training in 40 states and Canada. No one accomplishes anything on their own, and each experience provides the foundation for the next challenge. Terry always had fellow teachers who shared his passion for creating special experiences for kids, administrators who encouraged them to do things that hadn't been done before, and college professors who challenged his ideas, all the members of the FOSS team who provided a synergy that would be impossible to duplicate. And he has been blessed to have been married to Skye, Thelia, and Karen who have always encouraged and supported him. Terry enjoys woodworking, playing the guitar, hosting sing-alongs, bicycling, and almost any activity that brings friends and family together, whether it is travel, motorcycle trips, backpacking, camping, taking the whole family on a raft through the Grand Canyon, or helping his son restore an antique automobile. The Oklahoma, the Oklahoma State, State University, University College, College of Education is proud to induct Dr. Terry Shaw into the Hall of Fame.